Hey, Dan Cuccimillo here with NorCal Sports Network with another special as we look at the L.A. Dodgers and do the rich get richer this offseason? It appears to be so, as it's heavily rumored that Roki Sasaki, the great young pitcher out of Japan, is going to get posted as he's going to request to be posted again and that he will sign with the L.A. Dodgers, giving them three pitchers from Japan with Yamamoto Otani coming back after his injury. He will be back pitching next year. And Sasaki. This could make the Dodgers just absolutely untouchable if this does come down. And by all appearances, it seems that this is going to happen according to Major League Baseball rumors from Bleacher Report. We look at this report here. Per ESPN's Kylie McDaniel, the Dodgers are heavily favored to land Japanese star Roki Sasaki. As indications are, the Chiba Latte Mar Marines will post him for Major League Baseball clubs. ESPN's Jeff Passan reported in August that Sasaki was likely to renew his request with the NPB club to post him this offseason, but it was unclear if they would acquiesce because it's financially beneficial to them to wait. Now, according to the way their plans work, if he is posted prior to uh, December 15th, I believe, they only will get 2.3 million, but if it's afterwards, it goes up to 7 million, I believe. Yes, 7 million here. So expect Sasaki to get posted after December 15th, and that he would probably end up becoming a Dodger. Now, if you watched him in the World Baseball Classic, you saw that he does throw a 93 mile an hour sinker and a fastball in the range of 100 to 104. He consistently throws it about 102, and he's only like 22 years old. So he's younger than Yamamoto, and he is a strikeout pitcher, a flamethrower, and all indications are if he gets posted, he will become an L.A. Dodger, and that rotation is going to be sick with the addition of Otani bring back Yamamoto and if Sasaki's there and then you got Glass now and you've got uh, maybe possibly Walker Bueller coming back it could end up and there's rumors that Blake Snell could sign with the LA Dodgers this offseason so we'll see how this all comes to to fruition or not but to me if he's posted, I think it's pretty clear he's going to sign with the L.A. Dodgers. And if you look at some of Sasaki's numbers, just pulling up his numbers here from Japan, he 22 years old last year. His ERA lifetime in four seasons is 2, 2.02. You heard that right, 2. That's it. That's his ERA. He throws, he pitches on average 17, 18 games a season. Got to remember in Japan, they go on a six man rotation. So you look at his innings pitched in 24, he threw 111 innings pitched, but he only started. 18 games so if you took that that's an average of a little over six and a third innings per outing so he's going into the seventh inning so he doesn't pitch a ton of innings but he does pitch effectively when when he's in the ball game and i think you're going to see a six-man rotation the dodgers are going to you know with glass now coming back from injury at some point next season I think the Dodgers are going to look to maybe do a six-man rotation. So Sasaki, he 
doesn't walk a lot of batters. In 2022, if you look at that highlighted right there, he threw 129 in the third inning, struck out 173, and only walked 23 batters. That's pretty phenomenal. That is a really good base on ball percentage, about one and a half walks per game. Last year was a little higher. He was up to a whole walk more per outing, per nine innings. He was walking two and a half batters per nine innings, which is still pretty respectable if you think about it. So looks like the Dodgers are going to get richer and, you know, this offseason, as it's underway, it seems like there's a lot that's going to be happening. Juan Soto, of course, is the big prize. Here at NorCal Sports Network, we're predicting a $700 million plus contract, whether that's going to be over 14 years or 12 to 14. I think it's going to be 14 years. I think it's going to end up being between seven and $800 million going to be tough for anybody but the Mets, Yankees, or the Dodgers, I think. Those are the three favorites. I think Steve Cohen is a guy that's competitive, is not going to want to lose, but so is Dodgers ownership, and so is Hal Steinbrenner. But the Yankees, if they're going to retain Soto, are going to have to pay, and it's going to have to be something – like what happened with Aaron Judge, I believe, where the Yankees don't make the original highest offer, but Soto's team and Scott Boris goes back to the Yankees and says, do you want to match? And if Hal Steinbrenner and the Yankees say begrudgingly, yes, we will match, we will pay seven whatever, he'll be a Yankee. But if there's a line that they have. If the Yankees say we're not going over 600 or 650, he's going to be a Met or a Dodger. Just book it. I think that's going to be the case because if he becomes a Yankee, it's not going to be because the Yankees made the highest original offer. It will be because Soto wants to go back to the Yankees because that's the best ballpark for him. and. He decides, I want to be a Yankee, and he gives them the opportunity to match. That's how I see it. So thanks for watching this video. Make sure you comment on it. Tell us what you think. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button here on NorCal Sports. Just go ahead and hit that like button. We would appreciate it. And just to let you know, our show is sponsored by Chapman Law Group. Chapman Law Group in Marin, servicing all of Northern California's and the Bay Area. If you have any legal needs, give Chapman Law Group a call at 415-613-9483. Thanks for watching. Look for your comments. We'll we'll um, get back to you on some of those comments if we ha we can. We we like to read those comments. So please comment on this video, tell us what you think, and like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching NorCal Sports Network.